Good evening, everyone. If you haven't seen Greg Wycliffe's work, he is amazing at putting together parody songs, and this is no no different. This is a, a version of Ironic, and it's wonderful and on point and just amazing satirical uh, music, and, and it's about our election, and it's about Canadian politics, and he's a, a candidate for York Parkdale, and they're lucky to have him. So he's, I mean, watch the video. I'm not going to play it because it's like three minutes and wonderful. And then he does a couple of, he's talking at the end of the video. So it's worth your time. Go check it out. It's fantastic. Link is in the description. Okay. I often talk about the liberal tap dance and the liberal tap dance. I couldn't find a video of Trudeau doing this today. Um, but here is Aletha Raj and Aletha is the Huffington Post uh, Ottawa bureau chief. And she says, quote, so far at this press conference, five questions, five times, Justin Trudeau has given the very same answer. And I call that the liberal tap dance, right? When, when you say, what do you think about X issue, Mr. Politician? And they say, X issue is very important to the constituents because blah, 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 blah. And they start talking then about something that you don't care about and you tune them out because you know, they're not going to answer their, the question that you asked. And well, there's a lot of reasons for why that happens, but that's the liberal tap dance in my estimation. And I try to answer questions better than that when I'm asked questions. So here's Maxime Bernier, and he says about Andrew Scheer, liar, hypocrite, you're as bad as Trudeau. And I, I did get an email from a, a very kind watch uh, viewer, watcher, who said that he will help me with, or she will help me with fixing my sound. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female. I apologize. I, I saw the email and I haven't had a chance to get back to it. Um, I will take you up on that offer right after the election. I just don't have time. So I apologize and I appreciate you reaching out. It's on my to-do list. So um, anyway, thank you. Here is Andrew Shear, and I, it's all as loud as it can be right now. As far as I know, I've looked at all my settings. It's as loud as it can be, I think. So here's Andrew Shear tap dancing away from the question or just saying outright, oh, I'm not going to answer your question because we don't answer that question because there's rules in place. This isn't Nam to quote. <laughs> oh, what's that movie? Warren Kinsella was apparently hired to do your party's dirty work in attacking Maxim Bernier with the condition that the contract wouldn't be traced back to the conservatives. How do you think the public will perceive this? Uh, we don't make comments on uh, vendors that we may or may not have engaged with. So to that end, did your party hire Mr. Kinsella to attack the Liberals? As I said, we don't make comments on vendors that our party may or may not have uh, did engaged you, Yes with. or no, did you hire Mr. We, Kinsella? As a rule, we just we never make inter uh, comments on vendors that we may or may not have uh, engaged with. Well, as as Movie was Big Lebowski. So Andrew Shear was saying, as a rule, we don't make comments about vendors. I'm really, I'd love to answer your question, but I'm really sorry, I can't, I can't. There's a rule, there's a rule in place, right? There's a rule in place. We can't, we can't break the rules. We can't break the rules. Here's Andrew Shear with a follow-up question. This is from CBC Katie, and she's asking, what rule? What is the rule that you have here that you can't, you can't say which contractors you're working with. We just don't. We just don't comment on the contracts that we may, may or may why? not have. Is it we, a rule you just made up? Like we just, just don't. Just we don't make, make comments sense. on uh, contracts that we may or may not have, or vendors that we may or may not have uh, have engaged with. And again, one of my colleagues asked if Liberal Leader Justin Trudeau had said that, would you be? Would you accept that answer? It's. Uh, we don't. We don't make comment on contracts that we may or may not have. Thanks very much, everyone. Merci beaucoup. What was it that Kath Catherine McKenna said? If you say it louder, if you repeat it. If you say it over and over, people will, what? What did she say again? Hold on, let me get that clip. Ah, uh, here she is. Take it away, Miss McKenna. You know, I actually gave him some real advice. I said that if you actually say it louder, we've learned in the House of Commons, if you repeat it, if you say it louder, if that is your talking point, people will totally believe it, so just go in. Right, right. Do they deserve re-election on Monday? <laughs> Up to you. Up to you. So here's... Well, we've seen Andrew Scheer asked again. And let's move on to the other interesting story that's been blowing up, Warren Kinsella. So here is six hours ago, so roughly four, between four and five in the evening. And it says, Maxime Bernier calls social media campaign to discredit People's Party of Canada an attack on the integrity of, de on, on integrity of democratic process. Says dirty politics feed public cynicism. Says conservative leader Andrew Scheer does not deserve confidence of Canadians. 
Update CBC News, People's Party of Canada files complaint with elections watchdog over what Maxime Bernier calls professional smear campaign, responds to reports conservatives hired outside company to mount campaign portraying party as xenophobic. And here's the article. It says Bernie files complaint to elections watchdog over secret campaign to smear his party. And this was posted at 2.43 p.m. The reason that time is important is for a reason I'll show you in just a minute, but here we go, we'll read through the article. People's Party of Canada leader Maxime Bernier has filed a complaint to the con Commissioner of Canada's elections to get to the bottom of what he called a secret smear campaign waged against him. During a news conference Saturday, Bernier said the party will retain legal advice and will use all tools at its disposal to get answers on the Conservative Party of Canada's potential role in that campaign. He also wants answers on who was behind the entry of a rhinoceros party candidate in his boast Quebec riding who has the same name as him. Bernier said that that was a deliberate attempt to confuse voters. CBC News reporters reported Friday that Warren Kinsella's Daisy Group consulting firm was behind a social media campaign to put the People's Party of Canada on the defensive and keep Bernier out of the federal leaders' debates, according to documents provided to CBC News. The documents outlined the work done by several employees of Daisy on behalf of an unnamed client. A source with knowledge of the project told CBC News that that client was the Conservative Party of Canada. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer today refused to comment on whether his party was involved, saying, as a rule, we never make comments on vendors that we may or may not have engaged with. You know, as a rule. I just want to make sure that you understand Kinsella is a lawyer, an anti-racism activist, and former liberal strategist who's been a vocal critic of Justin Trudeau, of leader Justin Trudeau. And so that's 2.43 at 4.35... Warren Kinsella deleted his account, his Twitter account and his Facebook account too. This is Sean Craig tweeting about it and it says, it appears Warren Kinsella has deactivated or deleted his Twitter account. So that's interesting. He also makes a statement here and he doubles down on saying that Bernier and anybody who follows him are bigots and racists, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, I'm not gonna read it out just because, well, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Quite honestly, it's quite ridiculous. So I'm not going to read it out. You can read it. The link is in the description um, if you're interested. Eh, it's not all that interesting. It's basically more of what he said before. So if you've read what he said before, then you'll understand what he's saying now. Um, and I presumably, I guess, now he's saying it for free. So there's that. But before, you know, he was glad to take the money from the conservatives and the Greens. And, you know, he was a liberal strategist. So... Libcons, right? They're all in it together, which is very clear here. It illustrates it very nicely. And this whole, this underlines the inherent problems with a multi-party system that is basically all the same party because they'll all work together to smear anybody who's a little bit different. And that's what's happening. And that's what's been happening and provably so. So, well, and part of this though, part of this though is the Globe and Mail has a source that they trust, but keeping sources unnamed with allegations of this sort. Um, and I've seen some people around Twitter saying this is not a big story. I think this is a pretty big story. Is it not? Having a former liberal strategist paid off by the conservatives and the conservatives had him employed according to their sources up to June 30th. And then Elizabeth May immediately hires him as a, as a fixer to do what? Who's, I mean, what? Isn't it all a little bit convenient? And then immediately at that point in time, they have to be disclosing, right? So who they work for, what they're doing is clear, right? So, I mean, also, here's, here's another angle to consider, and I hadn't considered it until right now, but part of the contract said they will use third party to make it look as though the conservatives weren't involved. Is that the Greens? Did they use the Greens like that? Because the contract didn't say they would create a company. They said they would use third-party companies. Huh. The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Anyway, just, just a little working theory that I just came up with on the fly there. So I'm sharing it with you because what do you think? I don't know. Could be. Who knows? And who knows? Not me. Certainly not. But it's interesting that Mr. Kinsella deleted his, his Twitter account. It's interesting that all of this stuff is happening days before the election. Are all the smears made up? Are all the smears paid for in advance? 
This party is not a racist party. I've never seen one person in the party make a racist statement at all. Everybody wants to be judged by the content of their character, not the, their skin or their gender or their sexual orientation. All of those things are secondary. What you do, who you are, those things matter much more. And I think that that comes through despite all the smears. So thank you for joining me for this late in the day and late in the election edition of Canada Poly. So uh, I appreciate you tuning in and don't forget to vote on Monday and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. <laughs>